This week, we're going to talk about radical radiotherapy and how that can affect men when it comes to the uh, erection and also sexual function. Radical radiotherapy is sometimes necessary in order to eliminate the, uh, the cancer cells in the prostate. Before doing that, the operation itself or the intervention itself will require the prostate to be shrunken and that is using hormonal suppression. The hormonal suppression effectively put men into menopause and that can have suppressed of their libido and also to some extent erectile dysfunction. So many men following the radiotherapy will also encounter problems of erectile dysfunction because of radiotherapy itself. So is there any way to overcome this? In fact, as far as libido is concerned, the suppression of the testosterone is absolutely necessary because if men are given testosterone supplement or testosterone replacement, the prostate itself may actually uh, grow bigger again and that may stimulate the prostate cancer cells. Therefore, wait until the end of the treatment plan and your testosterone will slowly go up after radiotherapy. Usually it's about a year to two years. Following that, men who still continue to have erectile dysfunction can think about the blue pills such as PDE5 inhibitors or other things such as the um, injections into the actual penis itself in order to enhance circulation. So therefore, it is not absolutely detrimental after radiotherapy as far as the erection and libido is concerned because there's always light at the end of the tunnel when the completion of treatment after elimination of the cancer then the testosterone will slowly get back to, to, uh, to normal and the erection hopefully will return. For the final installations of Movember November, we're going to talk about if all fails, what do you do? And that obviously will require a little bit more aggressive treatment of penile prosthesis. So for those men who are curious about what exactly is penile prosthesis, stay tuned for next week's Putting Dr. G on the Spot.